Tell, tell us what you've done up until this stage with them, Kev. Just opened up there, opened them up, taking the guts out. Just open up along there. You can see on that one there better. Go from the ring gear up. And you put your thumbs in there like that. In there like that and you pull the blood out there and just and then you just rip it out and it all comes out. How'd you get the slime off them? Hot water. Handful of salt, just tip it in the bag while they're still alive. <laughs> The idea is to keep this pointing towards you all the time. Hold your finger on there. Push down on that. Yeah, I don't want to cut your table like that. So there. Hold your fingers away from underneath there because you'll cut your finger. Just use the tip of the knife. Right down to the end. Just as you can see a line there. See that line there? See that line? There's a line along there. You just go to there. That's that bone, right? That, that makes it easier. Makes it easier, so you turn it over, always facing towards you. Always facing towards you. Put a cut along there. Along there. Holding your finger on that bone to keep the bone to pulling it over towards you. To the other side. Right, you just do that there like that. This is where you cut fingers. Put that on there and just push down on it. There, hold your finger on there and make the knife just run along like that and by the book of Hoyle that should just come straight off there like that and just go like that because they're not dry you see yeah that's all ready to go like that Another one? You want another one? That's it. Another one. So you just hold it there like that. Put a cut slowly along there. See it's still moving. This is from last night. them on there and just cut, follow the bone along, yeah. follow the bone by pulling that over there like that, so that you get no bones in it, by the book of Hoyle there's no meant to be bones in it. It's got a book, it's got a book Cut along the top bone, down there. Yeah, that's tuna. If I got a dollar for every earlobe, Parfit, would be very wealthy. You and your mother would be very rich. Very, very rich. Oh, by the book of oil. By the book of oil, off it come. Is that a spine? Yep. What's it? Now, if, if you weren't not enough meat on there, you cook them up, you put them on top of the spuds. Now that just <laughs> salt and pepper just keeps us keeps the flies off them. Here comes the boss now. Just 
Should be five cats. Should be. Should be five cats. When I was a bit younger. Thirty. So that's. Don't do this, what I'm doing. <laughs> Speed all of them. This one here, how old do you reckon this eel will be? Ten. Eight years. Seventy five. 17. Two years old, 17. Yeah. 2013. Yeah. Friday, go. Closest one was Mike. He's 75. 75 years old. Oh. 45, 50 years old, this. This is just that. It's an old eel. How are we knowing? How, how do we know kids? Because of that. That thing there tells, that tells you how old it is. But an eel around three. Two pound to three pound, which this would be, it would be between 45 and 59 years old. How old do you think that? Um, we're thinking. Jeez. Oh, so, yeah, if you right. saw a six foot eel, how old do you say that would be? Well, it doesn't go by how big they are, it goes on the, the age of the thing. I, I let two go 28 pound back down there because they're ready they had blue eyes when they're ready to migrate the eyes go blue and they're ready to migrate so means head to the Tonga Tongan trench that's where they go to oh you get them when you're dead big they go to the islands is that where they just go free they die after that once once they're, these are like a salmon these are like salmon. Once they breed, they die. Could you eat them if you eat as soon as they die? Could you eat I've them? never seen them, so I don't know. <laughs> but they, um, <coughs> yeah, they, they breed. They breed up there, yeah. and that, and the currents, the currents bring them back down. The currents bring them down, and it go. There's nine different, um, nine different species of eels. So. They all go like China, Japan, Japan, Holland, all around there. They, their eels, they haven't got eels now because they've overkilled. That's why they need a matai tai and stop it from commercialising, getting rid of them all. England hasn't got bugger all either. 